Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over the user in Madden 22. This is going to be more of a discussion than a tip video, but hopefully, I provide you guys with a little bit of insight when it comes to the user in madden in general it is the off season pretty much for madden the next game comes out in three months which means that there's no competitive circuits there's nothing that we could do to play competitively that much you know besides your weekly games and stuff like that so my job right now is to help you guys get better for next year's madden because we all know we're all gonna buy it and we're all gonna sweat it out until until the game is pretty much dead again so Again, this is more. This is going to be more of a discussion. Now, before I get into everything, if you guys are new, subscribe to the channel, like the video, especially if you guys are enjoying the content. Gameplay videos every week now. Um, yeah. Now, this video is more so on who you should use her in Madden 22. Why you should use her them. What, what else can you do for your user? Whatever the case may be. That's what this video is going to be all about. Because a lot of people, myself included, have 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 stated, have made it completely known to 100% make it so that we're using the middle linebacker. Nine times out of ten, if if you hear somebody talking about Madden, they're they're telling you to use her the the middle linebacker. And right now, I'm just gonna call a random pass play because it's it's just gonna be something that helps you guys out. So let's just call a random pass. But there's like this common misconception of who who people should use or who people should rock with and abilities to use and stuff like that and i'm here to tell you use whoever makes you comfortable we are in a brand new day and age of madden where it's just not it's just not the same it's not the same madden that we, that we, that we've been used to playing where you can cover three four routes with one specific user it's just not the same type of madden and anymore now granted can your user be effective of course it can you, you you can confuse somebody to the point where your user can be super effective to where you're completely shutting down a route or forcing them to make a quick read now right there i could have thrown it here obviously but somebody might be scared that this guy can make a play on that there's absolutely no chance that that my Isaiah Simmons is going to sit there and make a play on something like this. Now, I bring this up to you because I've made this video before. I've, I've made a user video before where I've completely told you guys, stop user in the D line or something like that. Why? Well, honestly, it's a it's it's an honest question as to why if, if, if I'm using the D line. And I have somebody that can sit there and come at the quarterback like I just did with Chandler Jones. And everything else could be locked up behind it where the AI is 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 controlling the, the rest of the field. I put a move on him with, with Chandler Jones. Granted, my dive was absolutely terrible. Some of you guys could be godlike D-line users. And I know I might I might get a little bit of hate about this. And I th this might be a super casual take because there's never been a Madden champion who uses random players all over the field. But if you guys have played somebody who comes out and instead of running your typical 335 wide and they're sitting there, you know, doing the whole nine, instead of playing somebody that 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 isn't on the linebacker all day, isn't it? doesn't it seem like they're a little bit more annoying to play if i just came in like that with my d-line user while everything else while everything else on the field is completely clamped up they have to worry about my d-line user coming in almost untouched and going crazy and no i'm not saying this for you guys to sit there and think to yourself oh he's telling me to get on the d-line let's go do it no that's not what i'm saying I'm saying if you're comfortable on the D-line, by all means, hop on the D-line. Just learn how to use the, the mechanics that EA has, you know, has has given us or has let us let us be, you know, be as proficient as possible when you're running on the D-line, obviously. Or 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 any single place that you choose to be. Now another another area where it seems untouched cornerbacks 
If you're if you are mainly a cover two player, lock down one side, right? Or you could do something like this. Where you can lock down one entire side, have have your guys chilling in the middle. You you can even put this guy on a mid read while your user here is in charge of the the entire right side. There's they can't get a pass off on on a defense like this. Why? Because your user is in charge of one entire side, and wh whoever's playing you is going to be scared to throw the ball. That's essentially what's going to happen. Because you're locking down one entire side instead of letting the AI sit there and get beat over the top with zone drop defense. People complain about people who are user in the cornerback. Why? This is more of a rant video than anything. But obviously, if you guys are running zones, why not user somebody that's random? I've had more trouble playing somebody who's user in the deep blue safety probably more than anybody because you'll think that something's open and these guys are just running all across the field able to swat everything able to dive at everything and able to pretty much guard everything so yes i am making this video simply to inform you guys that are being that are being annoyed by people stop playing for other people simple stop playing for other people if you like winning go win games if you like user in the d-line user the d-line if you want to use her a cornerback user the cornerback if you want to put somebody on a spy and that's your job and they call hike you better be the best spy available you better be the best the best spy there is if you want to be the guy that contains the quarterback and you're sitting there just sit, waiting waiting for somebody you know then you do that don't let don't let other people who did not buy your madden your madden game dictate the way that you play if you are comfortable in the way that you play find out a way to 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 make it so that your your style of play is just as effective as somebody else's we are in a new day and age of madden where the user can be anywhere but but obviously we fall we fall into we fall into the categories of hey my favorite youtuber said this my favorite twitch streamer said that my favorite content creator in general has told me that to get off the d-line to get off of the safety to only use the guy that's at middle linebacker why because it makes everybody uncomfortable once you're on some once you're on something else it makes everybody uncomfortable Everything is effective nowadays, especially in Madden. And if you guys aren't utilizing as many as many possible things that you guys can possibly do, you're not going to keep your opponent off balance. And it, as 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 strange as that is for me to say, I have played people who have been on, on, on the D-line, and as soon as they call hike, they're absolutely swimming across with their, with their user, just completely getting an insta-shed and, and pretty much getting a free release on me. It's been it's very frustrating, but it works. Don't know how, but it works. And sometimes you make the most mistakes when you're facing something that makes you that uncomfortable. So if you guys can listen to these words for the next Madden, make your style of play a meta style of play. You guys don't have and granted i'm i'm here to help out whoever it is if you guys are like man what's the best thing to run for a, for a d-line user or what's the best thing to run for a cornerback that i'm using all game use your favorite player who who if aaron donald is your favorite player strap him up with abilities man pause strap him up sounds a little sus but strap him up with with, with some abilities and go and go to work with him just make sure that the way you're playing is the best way that you can play because we all we all try to conform to everything else that everybody else is running and sometimes that's, that's not the best that's not my style of play might not be your style of play your style of play might not be my style of play yes i user i've gone from user in the safety to the outside linebacker to the middle linebacker no i do not use user the d-line but if that's a style of play that you guys might want to learn let me know i'll find something but stop letting these people tell you how to play a game that they did not buy for you. Enjoy the game how you want to. Welcome. Thank you for coming to my to my TED Talk. My name is Pony Montana. If you guys enjoyed this type of video where I, you know, I'm sorry for the rant, but you know, I 
it's just one of those things that's kind of been like on my mind lately especially with madden 22 being on next gen and stuff like that if you guys are on current gen you guys better be on a linebacker <laughs> but if you guys are on next gen this is this is this is a PSA for those of you guys who have been struggling and th thinking that you guys got to switch to what other people are telling you to run um, because you don't enjoy the game how you want to dominate how you want to. And if I can help it in any way, I'll do so. So, again, my name is Pony Montana. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, two fingers, deuces.